Minions. Today we are going to take one cake and try to turn it into three Minions characters. I'm excited about this, so let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is Steve Corell and today we are celebrating Minions. Now I watched Minions, no I didn't. <laughs> but I saw all the toys and I saw the Minions chicken, the Minions rabbit, and I was like, you know what, I wanna make those. And because they are the same basic shape, I thought I would take the same cake and just transform it into these three characters. So let's get started. I need a haircut. I also need a new jean jacket. I've had this for 10 years. It's coming apart, but I'm too sentimental. I can't get another one. Now to build my Minions cake, I am using a PVC pipe system. And I'm gonna start with a six inch half dome cake. I only filled the pan up like halfway because the other cakes that I'm gonna be working with are five inch round cakes. Now I'm gonna add buttercream in between each of my layers. Now I'm going to add my five inch round cakes. Good, good, good. More buttercream. One more five inch round cake. A little more buttercream. And last, my six inch half dome cake. Now I'm going to scrape away a lot of this buttercream on the sides, but I'm gonna keep it so that I can use it for my crumb coat. After that, I carved my cake just a little bit. I just needed the six inch half dome cakes to match my five inch round cakes. So a little bit on the sides at the bottom and then a little bit more on the top. When I was finished, I added my crumb coat. I just covered my entire cake with leftover buttercream. So my cake is stacked, I have my crumb coats on, and at this point, usually, I would put it in the fridge to set up. Let's just stop right there and acknowledge that I have buttercream on my upper lip. Now everyone knows I'm eating buttercream while I'm creating my crumb coat. That way the crumb coat could solidify and then I could add my next layer of buttercream without having to worry about those two coats mixing together. But I have 30 minutes left before I watch Thor Love and Thunder and I don't want to waste those minutes. So I'm going to take my Minions yellow buttercream and I'm just going to pipe it out all over my cake very carefully making sure that I don't get any of my crumb coat on this outer layer. Yeah, this might come back to haunt me, but I am gonna do it anyways. <laughs> All right, so I covered it very carefully. Just a very consistent thick layer of Minions colored buttercream. And now I'm just going to smooth this out just a little bit. So my cake is covered. I smoothed out my buttercream a lot. And I actually was able to start creating the Minions pill shape. I'm gonna put this cake in the fridge to set up. Then I'm gonna go watch Thor Love and Thunder. I'll see you in a little bit. <sighs> okay, so I just got back from Love the Thor Lover. <laughs> so I just got back from the... Oh my god, this is not gonna work. I took my cake out of the fridge and I started to smooth out my texture. And then I realized something. So the minions are all pill shaped. But when they're transformed into animals, the pill shape changes a little bit. The most obvious one is that the goat is a lot shorter. Mostly because instead of being on two feet, now he's on four. So the pill shape, I think it's like turned a little bit maybe but it's very obviously short. The rabbit is very bottom heavy. The chicken is a little top heavy. So I had to shave down, I forgot the term. I shaved down the sides of the bottom a little bit so that it could be more of like a, oh my gosh, what is it? Like a, what is trapezoid? A trapezoid, when, when you do that thing where the bottom is smaller than the top, and you go like that at an angle. What is that term? I don't know. But I did that. Now, when I create the rabbit, which is gonna be the second creature I create, I'm gonna have to add buttercream to the bottom so that it's thicker than the top because the rabbit is bottom heavy. Now, I prepped my cake for the chicken and because there's a lot of texture, like feather texture, I'm not gonna smooth out my cake completely. In fact, I think I'm gonna be using silicone. Ooh, um, I'm gonna be using my silicone brush to give this like feather texture. Pretty cool, pretty cool. After that, it's all about adding fondant to complete this. 
Whenever I create fondant pieces for a buttercream cake, I feel like I'm cheating a little bit because it's not a complete buttercream cake. I think this is the perfect way to use fondant. It saves you so much time and stress. Now creating all of the chicken's fondant pieces was probably the most difficult because there were so many more colors than any of the other characters. Orange for his feet and his mouth. We've got some of that red like sagging, uh, I don't know, loose skin detail. What is that called? I don't know. Brown for his wings and a bunch of leafy green pieces to create the chicken's tail. Is it a chicken or a rooster? I think it's, maybe it's a rooster. Then it lays an egg, so it looks like a rooster, but it's a chicken. I finished all of my fondant pieces by creating the minion eye. Um, I'm excited about this. Oh my gosh. We need to get this done. I want to make all three characters by end of day and it's two o'clock. So I have to add all of my fondant, take all of the hero shots, rip off all of the buttercream and then let it sit in my fridge for a little bit. I want to slice all three cakes. So I'm gonna have to remember where all of my slices are. Cause after I slice one piece, I'm gonna push it back in and then slice another slice somewhere else. <laughs> I hope this cake doesn't fall apart. It might, it might. Now let's finish the first minion. So my first minion is complete. He's looking really good. I'm rushing because I know that I need to do two more. Now I did add luster dust at the end. I wasn't going to initially, but it just didn't look right. Now the last thing I need to do is cut this cake. All right, so I have one minion down. I have two more to go. I'm going to add buttercream. And we're gonna take this slice. Pa bam Perfect cake, once again. I'm gonna take toothpicks and I'm just going to place them at the bottom of my cake so I know where this slice is. That way I won't cut the cake in the same place. I'm actually maybe gonna make the character face a different direction so that I can cut him properly. Remove my fondant which is being held on by a lot of toothpicks now i'm going to have to adjust this for my rabbit and the way i'm going to do that is just pipe some buttercream out on the bottom a lot of buttercream there's gonna be a lot of buttercream because my rabbit is bottom heavy and because i carved away all of that cake i'm now gonna have to create all of that volume all of that voluptuousness with buttercream I'm just going to smooth this out as much as possible, put it in the fridge, and then I can start on my rabbit minion. Now the rabbit minion fondant pieces were the easiest to make, mostly because I wasn't working with that many colors, just yellow, black, pink, white, and gray for his goggles. Now for all of my minion goggle pieces, I cut out four circles and then stacked two of them on top of each other. And for my minions with two eyes, I waited till my fondant had crusted a little bit, then I blended the seam with a little bit more fondant. Now with yellow and pink, I created my rabbit minion ears, putting it in a turned off oven for three days and letting the entire thing crust. I didn't have any fondant hardeners. So it really just was a waiting game to make sure that his ears didn't flop over when I was done. Ta-da! So here is the next minion. So I smoothed out the sides and then I added the same texture that I did to the first cake. I had to change this a little bit though because the front of this minion has white fur. So I scraped off some yellow buttercream, replaced it with white, and then carved out a mouth. A little more work, but it was still pretty easy. The next thing I have to do is add all of my fondant pieces. Usually when I'm creating my fondant pieces, I do it after all of my buttercream work is done. But because I was working with so many cakes, I did it before. I was using Wilton's yellow fondant, and so I matched my buttercream to the pre-made fondant color. And to make sure that a lot of these pieces looked seamless, I just added a tiny amount of buttercream and blended my fondant pieces into the rest of my cake. So you can't tell which parts are fondant and which parts are buttercream. Now this was probably the most stressful part because it answered my question. Does leaving my fondant in a turned off oven for three days dry it out enough to hold its shape? And the answer is... And the answer is yes! Minion number two 
down. Oh my god, I like this better. This is really cute. I made that. <laughs> so I've got two minions down, one more to go. So let's do it. Glue back on this slice. There we go. And now it's just about removing all of this minion's accessories. There we go. I am going to have to remove this white buttercream. Since this is the back of the cake, it's going to have to be yellow again. And we're just going to fill it in with more buttercream. I actually added buttercream at the top of this so that I could give this a little more height because my cake was very, very short. So I'm going to cut a little bit of this buttercream off. So I want to save the top of this because I like the shape that I created. So I am going to just slice it off. Like that. Good? Oh, that's perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to have to cut away like an inch and a half still. Because I don't need it. Just like that. Boom! Good. What do I do with this? Eat it! Eat it! Save it for later. There we go. Add buttercream. On goes the top of my cake. Like that. Is that right? I think it's a little short. <laughs> I'm going to add a thin layer of cake. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the messiest cake I've ever made. And then my cake top. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Perfect. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Messy. But who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? Except for you guys, everybody on the internet. So that's done. I'm just gonna add a little bit of buttercream and finalize the height. All right, so I just finished adding all of the texture for this final minion. So I had to carve out some of my yellow buttercream and then fill it in with white. Then I added the same fur texture that I added with the other two cakes. Now, we are ready for all my fondant. This is a lot of fun, you guys. Let's get to it. Now, Bob's fondant pieces were the easiest to make. I did this last and I had already learned all of my fondant lessons from the previous characters. I did however forget to shoot the creation of Bob's horns. I know it was the most difficult part of this and that's probably the part you wanted to see but you know what I forgot. But really they're just two huge pieces of fondant rolled into cones and then twisted to look like goat horns. Now Stuart is I think my favorite minion but Bob is my favorite animal minion. Creating this goat it was just, it's just so cute. Tiny legs, it don't really make sense. I don't know how those tiny legs support all that weight. His body is super round. I loved creating his ears, his little hair detail, and most importantly, creating these enormous horns. His horns are almost as big as his entire body. And once I added them on, my last minion cake was complete. My last minion's cake. What do you think? I think this is my favorite. He's my favorite character, man. Now, I don't know if you know this, but halfway through adding the fondant on this cake, I went to watch Minions Rise of Gru. Right about here, I was rushing and I thought I could finish it, but then I realized that it was 3.30, my showing was at 3.40, so there was no way. I would finish this cake. So I ended up having to finish it after the movie. And I'm glad I did. I was gonna move my show time, but then I wouldn't be able to tell you my thoughts on the movie. And the fact that I learned the minions' names. <laughs> this is Bob. The chicken is Stuart and the rabbit is Leonard Nimoy. Kevin, it's Kevin. I was just gonna refer to them as minions one, two, and three because <laughs> I didn't know their names. It's really funny. I didn't expect it to be as funny as it was. There's so much silliness and the song that they sing at the end while they're dressed as angels. Oh, it's perfect. <laughs> I loved it. I'm really glad that I liked the movie because otherwise my excitement about these cakes would be super fake. Now, what did you guys think about the movie? We got to see three minions turn into like animals from the Zodiac. I wish we were able to see them turn into all of them. A mouse, a tiger, a dragon, a dragon minion. We didn't get to see that. That's so disappointing. Hopefully in the sequel, hopefully if they do a Despicable Me 3 or because I would really like to see that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what character you'd like to see me make next and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.